Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, November 9, 2021. Songbird is, in the words of Benny Hill, I'm sure most of you are t way too young to remember the greatest comedian that ever lived. But Benny Hill would look at the bottom of this boat and say, she's naked, totally naked. Yeah, she's naked and getting naked -er as we begin replacing frames. But Rick's been working on the bottom bow all day today. Uh, Century, for reasons I'll never understand. Rick, where are those laminated? I set, I set them up over here. Yeah. This is how, go ahead, show us. This is what's left, it was all laminated. And as you can see, it's all dryer off, oil soaked, and completely gone. And this is how Century designed, on purpose, the bottom bow. We now, we now know three Seamaids done this way. If this was a practice, oh my God, how dumb. Um, you couldn't have, well, maybe they saved money. Uh, we had to laminate here, but R Rick will talk us through how he... Laminated it together? Yeah, Two pieces and fit of it. An eight, eight quarter piece of uh, oak. We can uh, cut it down to the width of it. And then I laminated the two together. And then, but but we got Rick, the this lamination is. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, this is like real pieces of wood. Yeah, yeah, solid. Yeah, not toothpicks. No. no. How'd you make the curve? Oh, the, uh -huh. isn't that the greatest tool there ever was? Handy, handy, handy. So you hold it in place and tighten it all down, and then, and then set it up. And you and go. you can duplicate it just that easily. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't have to check, but I, I bought a couple of those things, and I bought them from Amazon. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what's left here, Rick? Oh, I got to finish cutting down the top here. Got to notch it here, so we can put in our new chime rail back yeah. here, and it'll get notched around, and then our new. Um, Part of the chime, yeah, the, the finished chime, or what do you call it there? The, uh, the little trim strip, trim strip I, yeah, I, it's I don't different know. Different than the rest of them, that's um, for sure. So, Other. when Rick gets finished back here, I want to tell you, um, Songbird's gonna have a, I won't be gross, she's gonna be have a tough transom, let's call it that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. And Joe's gonna has been having fun as well. Uh, Where'd you start and where are we going to end so up? So I started with a hammer <laughs> and I just started tapping any frame. If a, the ball peen hammer, if you hit it lightly and you get oil that's coming out of it, replace it. So I started here because this one was in four pieces and then I'm moving forward off of that. Um, this one, I have a temporary fix in here just to kind of get everything mocked up um, for the new framing and I still got to cut out the notches for the battens that go through the bottom of it. Um, but from here, we have two more frames right here that need to be replaced. Everything else um, is pretty still structurally good. There's not a whole lot of oil or really basically anything in that. What is that I see in front of your left shoulder? <laughs> so this is probably one of the coolest little sisters I've ever seen. <laughs> I turned it. I... Oh, yeah, you flipped it over that way. This is our lovely chine. Um, that has just been sitting and rotting for quite some time now. Um, as you can see, what happened is they started getting rot and then some kind of sister got put in here, that's... which is a uh, quarter inch Luan. Um, it's not even marine. It's just what you put down for subflooring. So what from, from about here forward then we'll be replacing. With replacing, all right. Yes. Because I mean, there's just so, there's nothing I can do for that to be fixed or salvaged whatsoever. So I'll put sister blocks in right here because, as you know, you don't want to have a joint land on a frame. Uh, so this way, there will be uh, two lags going through here onto another block, and same for it up here. So that way, it'll all be 5200 back in. in now, Joe, what do you do right here? I, I realize this one's 
must be replaced. Yeah, this one's replaced. So what do we do right here? Because I don't like what I see. No, basically with this, uh, I'll check and poke through it, see how how much rot is in it, and I might be able to cut out a good portion of it and put a sister um, Dutchman in it with another um, frame underneath it. And this one, as you can see, I mean, it's it's brittle, it's crumbly, it should shot. Yeah. So that wall will have to be replaced as well. Oh, and you haven't had the pleasure of ripping these two th hideous things out yet. No, well, I've had, there's actually one up here and right here. Oh, there were several so up you're there. halfway through. Halfway through. Well. And obviously right where our engine was sitting, this is probably the worst of it. I mean, when you can take your finger and you, you can get oil <laughs> and even your nail, you can take your nail and it just fills up with oil. Now, oh, hey, here's another repair. This one's nice. Yes. Somebody stole a piece from an erector set and screwed it on to try to hold that together. That is rather beautiful. Um, this is a tough spot because uh, this is where the frame is scalloped because the prop shaft, uh, I'm going the wrong direction, of course, it's boats upside down. So the prop shaft comes from down there and is coming through and uh, hits that. Uh, oh, no, I've got the boat upside down. Th that is the channel. Just before. Just before, that's, that's where the uh, keel bolts in. Um, but there's almost no wood here. And we did a um, 1946 Brightside Chris U22 once and had to replace all the frames and discovered that Chris, for some reason, chose to leave out about a third of the frames. Honest, they were just gone. There were slots for them. Everything was set up for them and there were no frames. So we not only put new frames in, we actually directly under the engine beefed up the, the frames. This is, uh, it's about four quarter. Right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I would suggest that we consider as long as everything fits and prop shafts and things can go by. If we use six quarter here and here where uh, this isn't something that's broken, this is uh, the way the boat's going to be because now we've got the prop shaft coming up through and, and passing. Um, it might be good on both of these frames to go to six quarter. I know it's not the way Century did it, but if you think about Century's uh, bottom bow, I'm, I'm not particularly proud of what Century chose to do and not do. Um, they'd be stronger. It's just strength. And if you're campaigning your boat, I'm not concerned that any judge is ever going to raise all of the floor panels and check things out. Um, so again, on this side, it's just for some reason, not quite so bad, but from the two new frames back, it's a wholesale replacement. And once we're finished and have put a 50 proper 5,200 bottom on here, this puppy is going to be stiff, fast, and give these owners a wonderfully soft ride across the water. So that's our update on our 1948, 18 foot, century sea made songbird. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.